Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, we're looking at a line extension from Protocol on their original line, the Protocol Blue. First cigar they put out. This is the Gordo. Brand new. New size. 6x60. Six it is hefty feeling in the hand. There's your density. Again, nice, nice feel in the hand. Now this was uh, the actual first line that Protocol came out with in 2015. And uh, it's the first line extension to the Protocol Blue in five years. Kevin Keithen, co-owner of Protocol Cigar, says that there was a demand for a larger ring. So here it goes. Here, there it is, folks. It's going to use the same blend as the original line, the Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper, Nicaraguan Habano binder, and Nicaraguan fillers that include quadruple Lojero in the blend. And Protocol claims that the double Habano uh, wrapper and binder combination uh, balance out the quadruple Lajero, giving it a creamy finish. We will see. Manufactured in the Eric Espinosa's La Zona factory in Esteli. Under the tutelage of La Zona's master blender, Hector Al Alfonso Sr. Suggested re retail price of $11 per cigar, $110 per 10 count box. So that ought to be enough for you. Let's get right to it. The line extension, the new size of the Protocol Blue Gordo. This is a cloth band at the foot. Sometimes they roll off. Sometimes you have to slide them off. This is a slider. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, so you're left with that. We're going to cut this. That wasn't much. That's a good, good draw. Fat cigar, fat, not hefty, fat. first flavors are a combination of citrus apricot and citrus peel like one thing brown sugar dry nutmeg and worn leather black pepper at close to eight very nice peppery cigar so that's how you start from past experience with this size of cigar and this particular cigar I'll be back in a while. It'll take a while to get there. So let's see what we have at the first third. First third, kind of burning a little off and the ash fell right after I took that picture. So here we are. All right, you got light citrus, light apricot, some brown sugars, rather light. Nutmeg is pretty increased, and uh, leather. Medium body leaning toward medium full. Finish is citrus, nutmeg, and leather. Very good lingering black pepper. I think would like a lot of uh, larger ring cigars, some of the filler gets in the way and uh, 
I could already tell the Lahiro is there, but the filler has the overall flavor profile a little muffled. The smaller rings in the blue have a little more pop. I'm rating the first third of this cigar, 91. The overall sweetness profile, I wish, was a little higher. But it is what it is. So let's move on to the second third. End of the second third. Two things before I get to the description. It is, I have touched it up and it's still not burning evenly. That's not good. And the cigar is burning hot. By that I mean way past where the fire is, it's hot. Which might mean, or does mean, the filler is burning way faster than the uh, wrapper. And uh, it's not combusting well. And that's not on me. That's the way the cigar is made. Now, the flavors have actually improved. The citrus and apricot have come out more, more brown sugar, nutmeg is still there, and your leather. The problem is those two negatives I told you about. The finish is citrus, nutmeg, and leather. Very good lingering black pepper. Very close to full bodied. You could probably go ahead and call it full bodied. All right, so my original thought was, score-wise, I was going to score at 92. The burn and the combustibility, burning hot, is going to be a point deduction each. So the score for this section is 90. Should be 92, but it's 90. Uh, it's got to burn better than that, and it's, I don't like the hot burn. The, the combustibility, by that I mean... When you draw through it, it's like it's nothing there and it takes a while for the cigar to almost light. And it's been stored in very good condition, so there's nothing wrong with that. So it's just a combustibility issue. So let's move on to the final third. Hopefully it improves in that category. Well, we're down to the end, <clears throat> so let's wrap it up. The cigar is basically out. I keep doing that because it's hard to see, but if you see that dark spot right there, it's actually already burned. It uh, The combustibility in this particular sample is not good at all, <clears throat> and I don't recall that with the other uh, samples I had before this I probably had four at least maybe five but I'm judging this cigar now I'm going to tell you what it should be and what it is in this section because of the combustibility is very hard to get anything out of it so the notes I couldn't distinguish because it was just burning too hot it was literally hot I rated this section 87. Should have been 89 plus. The combustibility and the uh, burn issues just really did it in. And it's a much better cigar than that. The previous samples I had were much better. So this could have been a fluke. But I have to judge this cigar. Now your overall score is 89.33. It's not an 89.33 per se, but this sample is. Judging it based on notes, it should have been a 91 or 90.67 at the worst. I'll let Juan know that this is an issue and make him aware that this could be a problem. I haven't run into this before with this size and this lot 
but this one did not perform well. So there you have it. The protocol blue Gordo. 